There are precautions that a new parent can take to reduce her child's risk of SIDS. First and foremost, babies should sleep on their backs. We know that if babies sleep on their stomach, prone sleeping is a very major risk factor. Babies are about two and a half times more likely to die of SIDS if they commonly sleep on their stomachs. This is a fairly recent finding. In fact, it was not until 1992 that the American Academy of Pediatrics began recommending babies sleep on their backs. Since then, however, SIDS deaths in the United States have dropped by more than 40 percent. Yet despite this significant drop, there are still plenty of people who haven't heard the news. Frequently, parents will take care of babies during the first month or two, but then grandparents or daycare centers will take care of them in the highest age range for SIDS, which is the three to five month range. And grandparents or child care providers who don't know any better may place a baby on his stomach to sleep. This helps explain why 20% of SIDS cases occur in child care settings. Parents need to tell their parents uh, or their daycare center uh, that their baby normally sleeps on the back and they want them sleeping on their back in the daycare center. For those parents who are worried that their child may spit up and choke while laying on his back, Dr. Catwinkle has this to say. Aspiration deaths have not gone up uh, at all. Uh, in fact, they've decreased a little bit since the Back to Sleep campaign, uh, and uh, it's not at all hazardous to place babies uh, on their backs. Another important precaution parents should take is to keep their baby's crib free of pillows, stuffed animals, comforters, and blankets, anything that could potentially interfere with a baby's breathing. A very simple, firm mattress with a tight-fitting sheet and uh, uh, a standard approved crib, and, uh, and she'll sleep well on her back. Another reason to avoid comforters and blankets is that babies who become overheated are also at greater risk for SIDS. In fact, SIDS occurs most often in the winter. And I noticed that you've got her in a sleeper, which is uh, important because then you don't have to use extra blankets and uh, anything else to keep her warm. Uh, as long as the room is comfortable for you, it'll be comfortable for her. Another entirely preventable risk factor for SIDS is smoking. We do know that mothers who smoke have a significantly higher chance of their baby dying of SIDS later on. And there is some suggestion that even if they don't smoke during pregnancy, but other members of the family smoke around the baby, that perhaps this also increases the risk. In the end, SIDS will take the life of about one in a thousand infants, which means that there's a very good chance that your baby will be safe. We're all going to be anxious that this might happen to our child, but if you take the precautions, the chances are, are very high that it won't.